so this uh, this this ppt is visible right yeah i can i can see okay okay so here i can say the decision tree so decision tree is a tree shaped where we can uh, just go on splitting this based on the uh, best attribute uh, first and then like likely okay so if if here there are three vegetables okay uh, now this color and diameter are the attribute or you can say the features for this uh, data set yeah. okay yeah so initially we will uh, choose this color because uh, because there's a high information gain okay uh, in this uh, attribute so depending upon this we have split it its color is equal to equal to red then this is if the false then uh, split over here and if the uh, uh, true then these so if you can observe over here th this is splitted or and here we can classify this uh, too easily like uh, this uh, violet color and this red color okay yeah. and over here we will just split based on the another feature which we have like diameter if the diameter of the is uh, the, the the attribute um is greater than or the data is greater than 2 uh, and then just split it into mm -hmm. now uh, over here uh, in 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 decision tree uh, this this node is called as a root node and this and this 1 2 and 3 are called as a leaf uh, this, this is a uh, terminology with a tree and mm -hmm. this uh, the leaf node should be the label for our data set okay and this branches are nothing but a decision rules okay and this nodes are nothing but a uh, i can say the attribute okay. okay i'll show you the more the example example is easy i think on us yeah now there are some terms we need to understand before going so first term is nothing but a entropy entropy is the major of the randomness or you can say the unpredictability in the data set uh -huh. so if you observe this data set the multiple animals with multiple colors and size this data set is, is with a very high entropy okay so we cannot predict easily okay so this is the one term uh, which we need to understand if you go on splitting based on the uh, high information gain we, uh, the the entropy is decreasing okay yeah so this is consider e1 and this is e2 and here you can see that there is zero entropy means all the classes are splitted well uh -huh. okay now here we can see that uh, the another uh, term uh, that is information gain so it is the major of decrease in entropy after the data uh, data is data set is split okay Uh -huh. so you can say that at the first stage this is e1 entropy even and this is a lower entropy that is e2 and over here the gain we can uh, like the formula for gain is e1 minus e2 so this is the uh, gain after after the splitting okay okay so we measure the entropy decrease in entropy basically in uh, information gain Oh, okay and this is called as a leaf node uh, and these are the uh, the leaf node are basically the classes or you can say the label for the data uh -huh. and the root node uh, root node is the topmost decision node uh, this we can uh, get uh, with the help of high uh, uh, information gain okay this is a simple example so now how it works uh, in scenario scenario so these are the multiple same data as it we will consider to classify the different types of animals based on their features we will use your decision tree yeah uh, so here this is the training data set which is provided so uh, the features are color and height and the label is given as the uh, the type of uh, animals okay so 
we will use the decision tree to split this uh -huh. so how to split the data so we have to frame some condition that split the data in such a way that the information gain is highest okay okay so, so to, uh, to measure the information gain there is one formula called as entropy so we so use here uh, entropy so let's try to calculate what the entropy for the current data that is p of value p is probability is it uh, the percentage so out of uh, total animal how many are a tiger how many are, uh, this thing, uh, elephants like like so uh -huh. so okay the total, total divided by, divided by this. this so we will calculate now the entropy for this whole data set so total are eight so we'll just calculate over here so the three divided by eight likely uh, so log uh, base two three divided by eight likewise so if so you if compute, you this, compute this, this, the entropy will be 0 0.57 okay, for this whole data. Okay. Similarly, we will calculate uh, for, for the every features within the data, like color and height. Okay. Based on this computation, Uh, based on this computation, uh, we we will decide the uh, uh, the the condition uh, which condition it gives us the root node for this tree. Okay. Now let's consider the uh, the condition gives the maximum gain is color is equal to equal to yellow. So if you observe this uh, data set, uh, you can say that uh, over here. The yellow, the yellow is uh, giraffe, giraffe, giraffe as well as yellow is the tiger. So maximum points over here are with the color yellow. So we'll consider this uh, condition as a root node for this uh, tree. And we'll just split the data. So color is equal to, equal to yellow and false. Okay. Now, uh, of course, we can see here the uh, predicting the animals over here and here are different. So that means there is a, a reduce in or decrease in entropy. Uh -huh. Now here, we need to split it again till the zero level, like to get the uh, labels in a uh, root, I mean leaf node. Okay. So the next step is based on the height, the another feature which we have. Okay. So if the height is greater than or equal to 10, then just split it. And height is greater than, uh, height is less than 10, then just split it. Now I can say that this is the zeroth level, or you can say there is no splitting after this. Okay. That means with the zero entropy. Okay. Okay, so that is what the uh, working. So here we what we find the uh, we we choose the root node based on the highest information gain, and we'll go on splitting till we get the uh, the zeroth uh, level or you can say the labels in a leaf node. Okay. I'll see it uh, in a code. So in decision three, uh, as I said. Each branch represents a decision group. Leaf represents the outcome. That is nothing as label. And okay. It learns by partitioning on the basis of the decision rules. Okay. Uh, recursively. Okay. Why decision tree? Uh, 
often you can say that uh, mimic the human level thinking and uh, the logic is open or you can say the uh, you can uh, the logic is visible uh, as in as in going the uh, the conditions is, is visible whereas in there are some black box algorithm like svm and neural network where the features or you can say the, the logic is not visible to the uh, as such okay. So that's okay, the reason, that's reason. Uh, this decision tree is very helpful. Very helpful. But the algorithm, algorithm, sorry, sorry, okay, sorry, sorry, go ahead. Okay, okay. So start, start at the at root node as a parent node, split the parent node at the uh, feature to minimize the sum to uh, child node or okay. 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 in the infinity. Okay. Your voice is very low, I said. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I can hear now. Okay. okay. Now, next is uh, uh, assign training cycles to a new, new child. child. And uh, stop if the lift node are pure. Uh, the pure means uh, for, for the one tree. And there are two. Uh, whatever two we have from the same class, then these nodes are called as pure nodes. Pure. These are the stopping rules we can apply. Uh, a maximum node depth is reached, or splitting nodes does not lead to any uh, to an information gain. Mm -hmm. And these are the splitting criteria based on information gain and sum of nodes, uh, sum of uh, node impur uh, impurities. And we can place objective function as maximum information gain at each split. Okay. Sorry. Now we'll explore one data set called as uh, Pima Indian Diabetes uh, data set. So the objective for this data set is uh, predict whether or not the patient has diabetes. Uh, based on certain diagnostic measurement okay so the uh, so this is the decision tree classifier uh, imported uh, and this is the these are the features for the data which we have a diabetic data set so just uh, we are reading the csv over here and this is the data set so if you observe uh, and this data set is uh, for 21 um, 21 to 28 year uh, female uh, uh, okay and this uh, this is what the data loaded if you observe this row is not useful so we have just drop over here and this is our final data set. Now we will just select the feature. So feature column over here. So we will select the features from uh, this uh, whole data frame and we will put it into X and the label and put it into Y. Similarly, we will just train this uh, data set um, and split it into training and test set and here we'll just build this x train y train to the class of fitting and we'll just predict using this trade and this metric function gives you the accuracy uh, for this uh, algorithm which is nothing but uh, 67% there's a library graph base which uh, help you you know to visualize the tree okay so this is what the um, graph created okay now for which data set is this the same data set pima diabetes data set okay can you share this data set please yeah yeah so that's csv with you okay and uh, th there are some optimization we can do based on some criteria like 
we can put the entropy and the depth max depth and that depth and we can uh, sorry what is max depth max depth are nothing but the uh, uh, levels where we can, we are going to view instead of viewing till end we'll just put you can say the max depth the degree of the tree okay and and uh, here if you after that if you see uh, the accuracy is improved so here we have changed the criteria as to entropy and criteria is nothing but so uh, there are uh, uh, multi, a couple of algorithms we can use to build a, a decision tree one of the algorithm is cart like uh, classification and regression tree where uh, instead of entropy gini index is the major uh, the term which is used for the uh, gain the unpredictable i mean uh, major the unpredictability and another algorithm is id3 where we are using uh, entropy to measure the information gain okay so uh, these are the two different criteria we can use over here so here we are use the entropy Uh, which gives us uh, around this this accuracy okay uh-huh. and you can see this is the uh, prune uh, or you can say the lex complex to actually enable uh uh-huh. yeah 